this whole game comes down to is that really good techies techies yeah yeah i mean what's what's the date april 23rd so yeah i mean i can understand where the inspiration came for this puck champ draft um but i'm not sure i'm a believer is that an april fool's joke or a 420 joke i'm not sure which one uh 420 Okay. <laughs> Very off. Still don't get it, but okay. Terrible. Fair enough. <laughs> you, you meant to be better than this, Kyle, but... I'm working on it. I, I love the tenacity of Puck Jam. You know, they're playing up against the first seed in the group. They are going a bit left field. You know, Batrider pick didn't really go their way. Now they go for a Techies pick. Mm. It's a completely different game now because they have to keep the game slow enough that Techies can fortify areas. And if they play around their areas, areas really well, it's a great Techies game. But... What are you so just a nice off? time to pull up that ad. You could go from zero to hero too, just like TGuff. And uh, I would yeah. like to see Techies lose and lose quickly and never be picked again. Um, That's wow. the cheap state. But we'll see. They have a great lot matchup. Spear More into techies. blast off is pretty reliable. Uh, you don't have discombobulation. I think Techies is probably pretty good. Slack says it's completely broken. The hero is amazing. I trust him. Like, I hate watching it because players who can play it they are so much better than like the, the common techies player right like sure. the ability the knowledge yeah. you need to play the hero you have so much time you know it's, it's, <laughs> as I mean, annoyed. I think they're probably feeling pretty confident. Okay. They got DM Timbersaw again. Yep. They got Oracle versus Techies too. I, I love playing Oracle versus Techies. It's great. You're always able to, you're always going to be able to like, protect your teammates so many different times to be able to not worry about anything. And it breaks the combo. In particular, that combo, the Mars plus the Techies. I think Oracle is phenomenal. So. I'm gonna have to be pretty impressed. I was I was impressed the last time I actually saw the Mars Techies when it was Arrow battle. playing it. He actually did a great job with Chesty. So let's see what they can do. I think it's gonna be tough though. This is a pretty strong lane, and I think they're gonna not. The biggest important thing that people need to recognize is when you play Techies is you keep yourself You saw that's what I just called the Havoc last time. In the other game is they were playing like an Ursa, and the Ursa kept letting himself drop below 50%, and that's where Techies can actually do something in the lane. I don't think VP's gonna give them their chance but let's see what Astral can do. The he was impressive on the top. Let's see if Techies is his uh, secret in his pocket. Well, let's see. I mean, do you like this sort of mindset and approach by Puck Champ? You know, if you're Puck Champ playing against VP, you're like, you know what? Let's just throw something out there that, that's going to just change. <laughs> yeah, you know, make us kind of not play Dota to a point. You know, it changes the game fundamentally. Is, is this the way to sort of tackle these matchups where you are against such a such a dominant team? It's your it's your hardest game, right? It's your hardest yeah. series that you're probably gonna be playing, period. So you know what? Why not? If yep. it's it's something they're super comfortable with, you go just pick everyone comfort heroes as long as the draft doesn't look too wonky, you can make it work. And to be honest, their draft doesn't look very wonky. It actually has some good stuff coming for it. Good stuff for it coming together as long as Techies does something in the game, which I don't think he will, because I don't know. I think good teams really know how to play against him, and he's dead already. Oh, that's not great. It's, I, I love seeing it, actually. I hate that. I was going to say, so, <laughs> not great for the team, but great for the Dota community, seeing a Techies give up first blood. <laughs> Careful down on that bottom lane. As, uh, they have got the range, in them, especially once there's levels on the, the Oracle where they have to burst. Top lane, uh -oh. the cars goes down. VP finding kills in both safe lanes, both side lanes already. Just a minute in. They, you, they did give VP a pretty solid draft. You know, they did give them kind of their bread and butter. The Timber the Lion. Oracle, a tested, <laughs> yeah, a tested combo. The Lion Timber tested combo that they love. They're even going to get the side pull off up top after getting that kill onto the fellas. So this top lane, it's going to be VP favored. Oh. And I'd imagine bottom lane as well. There we go. I'm getting onto Nightfall. So not quite enough damage to, to take him out. So look at Kingslayer's item. This is what I'm talking about. This is what you do when you're playing versus tech. You just buy regen. Counters the hero completely in lane. Just buy tons of tangos, tons of salads. Keep your core at full HP and tech is just done nothing. Besides, give you gold when he plays his mines. 
This is a mid lane. Sin GPK get a bit of an edge against the storm in the first few waves. And uh, uh, how's the game for a mid tiny? You know, we're seeing teams try and pick up the, the tiny in the, these core positions now. Uh, some of the ways the hero was has changed, and this a good, a good match for a tiny to pop off. Yeah, I like it when you're playing versus a lot of these uh, fragile int heroes in the mid lane. It's just an instant instant set of burst where if you get it, if you connect onto the storm, like if yeah. you don't kill him even, he's at like less than half HP, like start up. I'm a fan of it lately. I've actually, I hated it a lot at first, but then when I started seeing the promise versus these like, like the puck and the storm in particular, uh, I'm, I'm more fond of it now. We're seeing at the moment the, the biggest struggles definitely on the bottom lane for Puck Champ. It's uh, pretty hard here for the Mars to get his far mid lane. Toss back there from GPK. In desperate, very, very low. Oh, he's got to get a rune. He's got to secure one of these bounties. If Kingslayer actually walks up and steals the bounty away, that would be devastating for Desperate. And GPK actually looks like he's going to be the one to do it. So Desperate might actually have to go to the opposite side to be able to get a bounty, perhaps. As GPK is kind of... He's just he's covering the area. Yeah, it's like, where, 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 does he, where does the storm go? And look, he's got boots, so he's just watching him. He's like, okay, if he starts He's ready to go, yeah. Like, follow. Yep. Oh, Desperate's having... Oh, this is, this, this is so sad to see for the storm. He's got a tell, but GPK's gonna tip and he's gonna steal <laughs> the You know what's going on here. These are mind games. He's gonna go try to steal GPK's room, maybe, but he doesn't have boots. He's so too slow. He I can't. I don't think he can. No, no, GPK's got full control of this. Nice, very nice by GPK, the control is. We will have four minute runes, so that's what we'll at least get Radiant himself. Radiant structures a are fortified. More than likely, but a nice dominant position there from GPK. Now, the thing is, this game, you know, say DM does have kind of as good of a game as he did last time on the Timbersaw. Would you consider their methods of killing a Timbersaw any better yeah. this time around? Because I am. Um, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. got the long duration silence from the techies. They've got the big nuke from the Mortimer Kisses, and they have Ursa. I think Ursa's able to actually stick on him. I would say yes. Yeah. Hey, well, it's a bit the better than they last game. Kill him. Yeah. yeah, I think this one they can kill him gradually over time. Around the last one, they have to pop him instantly. But I think it can be better. That being said, though, I don't know if it is going to be better. Because I think this is going to this is going to snowball really fast. Like all three lanes are going MVP's favor. Uh, none of the three cores of VP struggling at all. Not too far behind Puck Champ. But, uh, and there's two kills as well. VP up to a hot start now. He's trying to set up with the burst onto Ducalis, but he has the stick charges. Nice cookie as they turn around over towards DM. DM's going to get out of there. Indeed, this mid lane. Solo kill. <sighs> Only getting worse for Desperate. His middle tower is under attack. And look at your tech. He's just contributing. He's, done, uh, he's doing your small camp next to you. Get techies out of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a hater. <laughs> I got the CM. Oh, that's grim. At least he's stacked. So Astral, we have seen him. He does have a triple hard camp staff for that storm shirt for Desperate when he does want to go over and farm. But the aggression that we saw from Era in particular with that techie, since that's the only one I actually got the soft competitive team. It was, it was good better. He was able to actually put pressure on. This one, he's he's not. He's just kind of a walking stacker. And we'll see if the mines ever do pay off. It kind of feels like they're not going to have a four position, perhaps. Tech is over to mid. GPK is in with the combo. And we're turning, pulling back towards the mine. Oh, he's out to the side, yeah, desperate. Oh, I miss. He's got to get out. He falls very low, heads the HP. In fact, he's actually going to die, Kingslayer, uh -huh. with and the purifying DK. flames. And Astral, I think he's going to kill. He denied the room, but he's going to pay with his life for that. I don't know if that was worth it. And <laughs> so. a D ward on top as well. All right, GPK might just take over the game by himself. Oh, boy. This is a rough one. Five to zero. 3K lead already for VP. It's gonna be a tough one for Puck Champ. Last game, at least Puck Champ had sort of a. I, well, they had a good early game. They had a good laning phase. Is not this what game is looking pretty one sided. It's a disaster. I, I, yeah. Oracle, so, yeah. Oracle is just so good for Techies. You even saw there the remote mine, it's like about to explode, it pops, it's big 400 damage, it's zero. Yeah. Because the Fates Edict was on the tiny. So there's yeah, multiple different ways to be able to play around that and you can also you know you can dispel the silence too which is going to be something that will definitely come into play 
from that Oracle. As we see Kingslayer almost level 6 on Oracle now because of the rotation mid. He's what I think of your Top continues being a problem. Team falling apart. Stupendous. Like Axe, the dire structures about, cannot be hurt. Might be time to just start mining your base. Under attack. Get, out, <laughs> get something set up. I think Desperate might have to look to start making like the rotation Much plays like with the techies Cordwood to try to suicide. But what do they gain? It's a troll level six with an oracle behind him. It's a supercell level slain. five with a lion behind him to protect him. And then Dyer's it's a 1300 HP 90 with 16 armor. Well, who's your target? I only have one. Dyer's top he even tower has to is under attack. The hard camp creeps left with GPK. Could just combo him and kill him. He does find him. We check the rooms. We see Kingslayer just under continuing to bull the, bully the poor storm. Also get a secondary D ward, so both mid wards have been taken away. This farm is going to be troublesome. They can find him pretty easily as he's he's looking for a move. DM is quite low HP. He actually hits this. Exactly. I say, DM. Won't initially get grabbed, so he still has time to get away, and he's fine. He's fine. They may get saved. No, the false promise. They're not even going to get saved. Saves fine. punch has got to run. They've got to get out of it, but the stun's going to catch him. They take down Krillin, and now the girls, he's gone as well. Eight to zero. Like didn't want to be. That is for certain. And Kingslayer was six already because he swung mid. Yeah. Up bottom so much. Swung mid gets that kill on the storm. This is an Ooh. Oracle level six at like an eight minute mark. He sees the rotation happening from storm. He TP'd instantly. He TP'd Dyer's before Nesco was even up there attack. to stop any type of move. I don't. I think VP is going to try to go for some zero death <laughs> game here at the moment. This this probably Dyer's is one of those games where the team you're having a discussion Dyer's and you're saying you know first to die is, is a scrap. That was not <laughs> yeah. Definitely. There's a lot of it. You don't want to be the first to die in a game like this. <laughs> you know, eight to zero up, five k lead at nine minutes in. Oh no! Are they going to be able to get him there? Oh, stun off the mark there from save. Oops. Completely with that one. Yeah, that one was a bit off the mark. But yeah. Nightfall, he survives, and that was their big commitment of everything. That was the no. result. That was all the mana pool from the storm. Can't even get the kill. Can't even get the kill. Okay. But toss back into the stun. Oh, oh. they haven't quite got the damage, though. Desperate will live. Mellas, though. Mellas? He's looking to be in a, a spot above her here. Four heroes chasing him down. Nightfall's going to pop the ult and try and tap put the shield up. The toss back as well, getting the cars into the action. On top of it all, two more dead on Pot Champ. 10 to 0, 10 minutes in. The flawless Radiant's game from VP continues. Attack. This is. Uh, this is bottom tower is they under have to attack. jungle on Storm, they have to jungle on Ursa. It's, it's just so limited what they can do. And I think we just got. Tech, he's just unable to do anything in this game. He's 0 2 0. He stacked some camps, but that's been his only contribution really to the game. So that's your four. That's rough. That's grim. It is, it is very grim. It's, and it's, it, it's, it's a little disappointing so far from Puck Chab, considering that they did have such a, a solid shot at the start of game one, you know? Yeah. This game two is just, uh, this is one of the, Radiance the, 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 the most one started game we've seen really in, in both Eastern Europe and Western Europe. When it's just one team is just they're not they're not even getting Radiant's to play. Bottom tower is under attack. That's, that's tough. Much going to be the case. I feel like yeah. MVP, like they've got, they blink on GPK. He can go do anything. Him and DM have full control of the game, just to jump however Dyer's they want to. middle tower is not what it used to be. That is for certain. I just don't know what I don't know what they to do. They have to do. So, okay, you gotta mind the base. I'm ta mind the base. Mortimer kisses and oh, big with it. Ah, oh, DM does get mine pretty low there. So uh, not low enough for. Astralto to commit for the kill. Oh, and his whole entire last minute and a half is just not for Daggies. <laughs> <laughs> Setting all those mines, it's just a waste of time now as the Timber Saw doesn't care. I like watching I actually I, I like watching Techies lose. I, I, I can't <laughs> lie. I like it. And I like Puck Champ. They actually look so good that they look so good with like some of their first three moves too, but Trying to get over to provide him a false promise. Can he get it in time? He can. False promise out. GPK 
guys up to the high ground. That's but still committing. Point. Can they do the damage to kill GPK? I don't think so. As VP turn, they'll take down Desperate for his attempts. Much like Cornwall before already dying. Axis Nobody Axe. dying. Dyer's top Can't tower. be the first He's to die. VP, they've just announced if you die this game, you're, you're getting kicked. No, so, no death here, VP. He's under attack. We remember the no hero, uh, the all hero challenge from yep. VP. This one is the no death. The challenge. no death. Oh. Oh. Jump on the hunt. Give them one. Well, that's gonna be a dead ass. Krillin has gone before the fight begins. Metaphorically speaking. And now they kind of got a run. He's gonna body block Melis. Oh no. The cookie. Uh, oh, Melis, he's trying to get back to his teammates. I don't think he can. Keeping him separated. Let's go. That's gonna get the read down. They got the read of the kisses. Oh, they get a low stage getting low. Save. Oh, he's gonna go down. The kill punch oh, jump as they take down save. Maybe they can get more out of this as well. They do they get King Slayer. I think that might be it. As the rest of the six cores are here. Oh, okay. Now it's time to run. Cut your losses here. Get out. They're not gonna get to get out. They're not gonna get to get out. Alright, so uh, that's it official. VP looking for, for two new supports. Oh, oh, man. They have died this game. 16 to 2. But two kills on the board here for Puck Champ. Two kills. Two kills. And they got the Could be the beginning. DM's, DM's courier with his plate mail. So, you know, we'll take that as a big win. And I think they got another courier before Dyer's the fight started. Dyer's bottom too, right? tower is so, under attack. Some slight hopes of gold, at least. And at least they got some kills. You know, it's not a shout-out. No, this is... Could be the morale boost that Punch Out needed. Oh, my God. That, that, that wasn't good. Uh, really, just combo completely by GPK. Oh They're trying to get it. And they bring him down. Into the trees, but the backup's there. King's there with a false promise. That's going to be desperate down as well. Dyer's middle tower is as under the, the, the show continues. The show continues for VP. Back to I business. To the announcer. He just says, oh, no, oh, and that's oh, really what it is. Yeah. VP <sighs> steamrolling and GPK having a beautiful game, 9-0-3. And the fairy trick, you know, I didn't really talk about it because of how disastrous the whole game is. Yes, but it's but actually the best item for Tiny. I did not think he'd be able to one-shot the Ursa, but he can because of that. Oh, boy. Dyer's middle tower I is just can't, They can't get any of these calls in return. A save from Kingslayer, always there. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Now the, the, the question, will we see, will we see anyone Radiant's on VP's lineup die to a stack is of under mines? Attack. You think, uh, is Astral going to be able to set up anywhere on the map that... And maybe catches VP by surprise. War has no, come to Radiant's He's farming them. <laughs> oh, DM. Yeah. Get there. Yeah, I'm feeling extremely invulnerable. We thought perhaps to Radiant's there was a chance tower. that he might be a little bit more human-like this game, but nope, still unkillable. Scan. They see them all rotating through the war. They get Radiant's the successful scan too. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Some easy gold here for Nightfall. Plus ten, plus ten, plus ten. Easy money for everyone on VP. They, they literally can do anything they want. Throw out the throw out the usual game plan book. They can just literally run around, follow the wards, anybody they see. They can try to kill them if they'd like. And Puck Champ just has very little things that they can do. They don't have a four position on. But imagine if Puck Champ make a comeback in this game. Imagine, just Much imagine. Like Fordwood before Axe's Axe. Dyer's top tower. He's under attack. Oh, oh Sly. I'm gonna link this to Slack. So link this to Slack. <laughs> top tower is under attack. That's a tier two down on the top lane. Still just 16 minutes in. Sharpening. And you would be forgiven if it. Oh, there we go. Krylon actually has his okay timing on his back. He has. Too, is the thing. He's, like, he's keeping up a little bad, bit. Man. You know, he's not Dyer's too far behind DM under at least. Attack. It's just what Radiant's can he do? Radiant's bottom just, tower is under and attack. Zero and three, like he's just died every time he's been spotted. 
by this Dyer's enormous tiny and look at this is under attack. The next step. Radiant's bottom tower Mines. has been One laid low. They <laughs> go for a steal. Where's the storm? Get, get him over here. That Ooh, is, is in this too. There are sentries. Get Desper the over it. I'm a desperate. He's not coming over. He's not There's coming over. I'm a lion. I can't do that. He's just gonna get hacked. Save's actually setting up. The kisses are coming in. Save. Oh, that, 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 All right. There you go. The mind do the job. Roshan will continue to fall there. So there won't be any attempts here for Punchup, but another kill for Punchup. Another kill for Punchup. Another death for Save. So at least for Kingslayer, he can now feel superior, uh, holding on to his one death compared to the two that Save now has. Very true. He's, his position is safe in the team, and PubChamp, they find a Philly stone. So they at least gonna get some gold. Is that? Ah, if they can stall. They can stall. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. But Ursa gets six hours techies. Now, these are the kind of games that techies, he, he can break you down. Imagine VP However, if they start to, if they lose people to high ground mines. Could, yeah, what we got? You know, VP, a very sensible team. Kingslayer, he's like, I don't really need my gold anymore. He buys a gem. So, all oh, right. Uh, that's early, Techies yeah. now needs to get oh, a four no. play. He needs to get that gem. He needs to somehow get the gem so that they can hold the high ground indefinitely. But I don't think VP's going to give him that chance. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Enjoying their, their Techies game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. As rough as it may be. Nine, to three. They're getting a tier two trade out of this, though, potentially. Actually, yeah, VP's going to come back and defend. GPK's got a haste and an echo save. So he's got the more, the higher avalanche damage on top too. So, almost. I mean, most of these heroes are still burstable. I think just the Mars really will be the one that survives the combo. GPK's ready. All right, he was, he was mind in his own business, blinking under the tower, and then suddenly, much like a bit of a bit of a surprise there for him. I think that was his able to walk out, but the the Ursa definitely very very dead. Dyer's top tower is under attack. The mind spot saves like I died there, guys. Don't do the same as me. Yeah, he's locked down there. Are you that damage like? I mean, it isn't such an over level that he just one shots here, so because he's got the avalanche. Dyer's on middle so tower is talent. not what it used to be. Saber. That is for first. certain. Now, how's the high ground? Have we got any Dyer's mines in the middle base? Tower the is under attack. Some sort of setup up here. So uh, VP, yeah, they're going to be able to walk up to the high ground and start hitting on some of these. Radiant these bottom tier three tower towers. is under attack. Much like Cordwood before yeah. Axis yeah. Axe. He's even got the Nether Shock, just in case. Yeah. He's under just attack. Item. He's got all this magic with him versus the Port Techies. There we go. Three. They're going to smoke up. Dyer's top barracks are Can they make a jump? Time to channel the inner earth. How did he make a jump? <laughs> he has to walk in. How do you get the Karya? Get the Karya. Get the Karya. Dyer's top He's ready to go in, but stay ready for it. Jumps up with the Axe. That's going to be Mel. Let's go. Bring down Kingslayer. Kingslayer immediately buying back. Really turning over towards the timber store. And that's going to be another one down. They've killed the two supports. And they've kept everyone else over the melees alive. Does he have to get up to the high ground in time? Oh, he's not. The root's now there. Nightfall, they're able to catch him. They did. Are you ready to run? Dyer's top barracks are under attack. They are completely gone. Dyer's top barracks. No, but it was the mid VP's not done. They're going They're to continue to push in. It's time to end the game. They don't want to waste any time here. They want to get back to the place of pubs. So they have one more fight potentially. As old. Oh, he's gonna pull himself in. He's still got a bit of mana left though. He's playing fully aggressive on the Kingslayer. And he's away up from the high ground, but they've lost the Carlis. Desperate's now out of mana. He will go down. Double kill for Nightfall. They've got buybacks. And they're gonna use that. See if they can catch here. They're gonna go for the big zip straight away. Looking to get into the back line, but the hex and the finger comes out. Off to Desperate. That's a dieback on the storm. Ellison celebrating being surrounded here by VP as Melons goes down. One by one. It's four dead, two dead.
to be five. GG is called VP of this game too. Was it wasn't really much of a game at all. Pop Champ, they try and have a bit of fun with the techies, uh, but uh, yeah, VP's not gonna not gonna let have anything happen with that. As uh, the techies doesn't really get to do much at all this game. Fog, despite being one of the latest picks in the draft.